So the last tutorial in our uh, appendicular portion of our skeleton is going to be this, our foot. Again, you need to know all the bones, how we name our uh, tarsal region, our metatarsal, and our phalange region. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to look at our tarsal region, right? Our ankle bone. This is going to be equivalent to our carpals and our wrists. This big, the, one of the largest bones in our tarsal region is our calcaneus. It's what forms the heel. Okay, so I have our calcaneus. This nice rounded portion, this is where those malleoli, those two lateral and medial malleoli are going to grab onto. This is the talus. We have a navicular right here, okay, navicular, and on the outermost aspect, lateralmost aspect, we're going to have our uh, cuboid. Now, we have one, two, three cuneiforms. Now, the cuneiforms are going to be named based on basically directional terms. So, you know this is the big toe. This is going to be a right foot. So, big toe, right foot. This is going to be our medial most aspects. This is going to be our medial cuneiforms. This is going to be our lateral cuneiform. And then we're going to have one in the middle. We're going to call it the intermediate cuneiform. We're going to have our metatarsals, one, two, three, four, five. So we number them based on big toe towards our pinky toe. And we have our phalanges. Now notice, if you go back to our tutorial on our hand, we typically have one, two, three phalanges. Um, in our big toe, however, we only have one, two. Every other toe will have three. And again, they're directional term based on close or far from that joint. So we have our proximal phalange we have our distal phalange proximal middle distal phalange okay so there's our phalanxes we're just about done with our foot again realize that this is a right foot separate identify your tarsal bones metatarsals and phalanges thank you for watching i hope it helped and subscribe